into uh, looking at everything from every angle uh, yeah, and in this book I talk about uh, my experience at Harvard mm -hmm. and how it connected to uh, my life nowadays as a singer because people would ask me you know why don't you study economics and then go on to become a singer yeah I was wondering that too right because Harvard it, it's they, they these two things seem uh, unrelated in you know in many people's opinions but then in in my own opinion I feel like I can apply to how to say anything in life, including uh, my career as a singer as well. So I, I thought about that. We are related. Read his book. Right. <laughs> you got an award for that book as well. Right, right. Uh, I got an award from the Ministry of Education, actually. Oh. And this award was given to me by uh, Her Royal Highness Crown Princess in Torn, wow. which was really a great honor. Yeah. So right now, let's talk about your latest album. 300. 61 degrees. Right. <laughs> Tell us about it. Where did it originate? Um, well, this is my second solo album, and I feel like uh, since it's a second solo album, I need to give more of myself to um, my fans, you know, to for them to appreciate or know about me. So that's how the name 361 degrees come along. Because normally, when you look at things, uh, the most you can look at is 360 degrees, right? right. And then. So in this album, I'll, I'll, look give, at more, yeah, I'll give more than that yeah, to them, right. you know what I mean? So it became 361 degrees. Why not 362? 360 that would be too much. <laughs> <laughs> so a little too much. Okay. <laughs> what was the concept of this album? Um, this is uh, the, the album that would you know, show them more of myself to them. And, and the, the music itself as well um, yeah, the genre sort of reflects the name of the album, which means uh, 
it's mainly pop, but then it's, it's there's sort of like variety of pop in this album. Some of the songs would um, uh, tend toward like pop rock. Some of the songs would have uh, more of like of R and B elements. To them. So those happen to be the musical genre that you like, right? Right, favorite. definitely. And then pop. Yeah, pop. Anything pop. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, of course, his latest single that uh, we showed you guys already is called, of course, "Without Fire, No Man." Right. Without the with fire, you. with fuel. Right, it's kind of hard to translate. <laughs> Without the fire with fuel. The meaning is good, so tell us about it. Um, this song is the first single from my new album, and it talks about uh, a relationship that's that's over already, but then you know the girl still comes back uh, now and then to like. That's in real life. Oh, no, no, <laughs> in real life, it's just in the song. <laughs> the, the girl comes back every now and then to like sort of take care of me, and then you know I feel like. Um, the, the the good things that she she does to me is actually sort of makes it worse. yeah it makes the situation worse instead of being able to get a, forget her you know forget about her and then it it makes it harder to actually leave you know the feelings behind I know what you mean yeah I hear it on like the radio all the time <laughs> <laughs> the meaning is very good I confirm that mm -hmm. Five, six, seven, two. not long ago I've been told that there was a concert AF4 restage. Right, so how right. did it feel to like meet all of your old AF friends? Um, it was great actually. It was like it felt like a huge reunion for all of us because uh, AF4 was uh, four years ago. The show was four years ago, and then ever since then, people like some of us would get to see each other, some of us would not really get to see each other, and then um, but this time all of us came together again, and then uh, not only that, um, all the fans came, and the concert was sold out. So it was oh. it was great to feel like. After all these years, they still, you know, love us and always give us a warm welcome. So right. singing on that stage that day was definitely like... Yeah, it was a great feeling. <laughs> so, uh... Check it out. <laughs> Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. I have been told that there is an upcoming stage performance right. called Fame the Musical. Fame the Musical. Um, right. This is actually a musical from the US. Mm. Um, but then uh, this company called Dreambox in Thailand, uh, they bought the rights um, to translate the, the play into the Thai version. So uh, I went to audition for it and then got the role of Nick. Um, yeah, Nick, yeah, is, <laughs> Nick is, um, he's this guy who's very serious about acting actually um, and he doesn't want people to, you know, uh, look at him as a teeny idol. Um, he wants to be known for like his, his acting skills and want people to really admire him for his uh, talent and capabilities in acting. So he went into the school and, you know, study acting because this, this is like a, a school that trains people to become uh, singers, actors or dancers. And, um, it's an actual school that exists in New York City. You guys do not go anywhere because Natsa Gaton is not going anywhere either. Because up next we have another special guest. This time she is a female. You know who it is? Of course. <laughs> I know too, but you guys don't, so wait and find out. <laughs> 